here's a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and you have an issue where you have a black screen maybe you have a black screen when you open it up but you also have a black screen on the front here or maybe it's just one of them it doesn't matter okay now obviously this one here is fixed but we're going to pretend we'll just say that both screens are totally black even though you have a black screen you know that the phone is still on maybe you can feel it vibrate you can hear notifications coming in maybe you can hear phone calls coming in whatnot or if you just want to make sure your phone's on or not you can always plug it in and you should be able to hear that chime okay of course you won't see that if you have a black screen so I'm gonna give you guys several solutions that you can do right now right from your home and it has nothing to do with taking the phone apart or nothing okay if you guys try all of these steps I'm gonna say at least 75 at least 70 percent of you guys will have a working screen if you follow each of these possible steps so first thing if you guys have a case on here go ahead and take the case off okay and then first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and force restart the phone okay so let's just pretend I have a black screen on both sides okay what we're going to do is you're going to press and hold two buttons it's going to be the volume down and the power button you want to press and hold both buttons and keep on holding until you see a Samsung logo it'll typically take about 30 seconds okay so just be patient here so let's do it together let's pretend my screen here is black volume down power ready set go press and hold both buttons don't worry about what's happening to my screen here just pretend it's totally black I'm gonna keep on holding and wait until I see a Samsung logo appear typically it takes about 30 seconds okay so you just got to keep waiting here I'm still holding both buttons volume down and power button and if you're still holding here after like 45 seconds then just go ahead and let go and start with the next step okay so I'm still holding here 30 seconds oh there we go Samsung logo now go ahead and let go and wait for it to boot up normally and hopefully you have a working screen on both okay if not we're going to go next possible fix okay so you still have a black screen no problem so what we're going to do next is we're going to turn the phone over like this and what I want you to do is spam the power button just do it four times because a lot of you guys have your SOS emergency turned on or enabled so if you click it five times consecutively it can call your emergency services like you're in the US it can call 911 and I don't want you guys doing that okay so we're just gonna do it four times okay so power button here and we're gonna spam it kinda of hard one two three four and then that's it okay because an issue with the power button could be stuck it could have debris in there you could have lint uh, coffee kool-aid in there and it can cause a black screen as well okay anyway we just did that we spammed the uh, power button four times now we're gonna grab our uh, charging cable here and we're gonna plug it in plug it in now wait five seconds after five seconds we're gonna go ahead and force restart it again using that two key combination while it's plugged in and charging okay so pretend my screen here is black again and we're gonna do it while it's plugged in volume down power ready set go press and hold both buttons keep on holding don't worry about what's happening to my screen here and we want to hold for about 30 seconds be patient here I'm still holding volume down power so at this point the phone turned off and now it's getting ready to boot back up so just wait here come on where's that Samsung logo at oh there it is go ahead and let go and let it boot back up and hopefully you have a working screen on both sides all right if not we're gonna go to the next possible fix okay so if you still have a black screen no problem so now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and unplug it pull that out and then we're gonna go ahead and open the phone up and next what we're gonna do here is what I call the tap method so what we're gonna do is grab two fingers you're gonna lay the uh, phone down flat and we're gonna tap all over on the phone now you may want to put something like I have like a huge mouse pad here that's kind of soft or you may want to put like a uh, cloth down here or a towel or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to tap all over on the screen and all over on the other side, the back side as well. The whole premise behind this is you might have a ribbon cable that's slightly disconnected or dislodged just a little, just barely, and that one little, believe it or not, can pop it into place, okay? So let's pretend I have a black screen here. We're going to start off on the screen, two fingers, and we're going to tap kind of hard, okay? Keep tapping here. Now, if, if you're... If you're doing this and you hear a little click then go ahead and tap that power button 
and see if your screen is on. Okay, if it's the front side, turn it over to see if it's on the front side as well. Okay, anyway, keep on tapping, tapping. After you're done, tap on that power button to see if the screen is on. If not, no problem, then we're gonna go ahead and turn it over and we're gonna do in the back side here, okay? You wanna all over on the back here. And you also want to go ahead around the lens here too, okay? So if you don't want to smudge it up, you can kind of all in the corners too. All up here in the corners, all the way in. This side as well, Get all in there. Now, go ahead and touch that power button. And see if your screen turns on. If not... No problem. We're gonna do the same thing. Volume down power, all right? Ready, set, go. Hold down both buttons. Volume down power button. I'm still holding both buttons here. So just wait, pretend my screen here is black and gotta hold it for about 30 seconds, okay? Just be patient here. Come on, Samsung logo. Still holding, volume down, power. Oh, there it is, Samsung logo. Let go of both buttons, let it boot up, and hopefully now you have a working screen, okay? If not, we're gonna go to the next possible option. Okay, your screen's still black, no problem. Next thing we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go ahead and open the phone up. And what we're going to do next is what I call the massage method on the screen. And on the back side, what we're going to do is we're going to get our, both of our thumbs and we're going to massage it. Keep pressing all over on the back or all over on the front of the screen and the back here as well. Okay, and This is the same premise with tapping. You may have a, a ribbon cable that's slightly disconnected. Okay, So if you don't want to smudge up your uh, screen or whatnot, you can use a cloth or whatnot. But I'm basically going to hold it like this. And you can even... Hold this screen, this side screen, if you don't want to fight, smudge that up as well. So what I'm going to do is press, press, all the way, okay? Press, press, press. Get all in here. Press. Keep on going. Press, press. If you hear a little click, then right away, go ahead and tap that power button and see if your screen is on, okay? If not, no problem. Just press, press. On the other side too, okay? Press, press, give it a nice massage, keep on going. And the same thing on the back side here, okay? Go ahead and press, press, all over, press. All around the lenses here too. And also if you hear a little click around here, right away go ahead and tap that power button and see if your screen is on. If not, continue to give it like a nice massage all around the lenses here. Press, 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 press. Press now, tap that power button and see if your screen is on. If not, no problem, again. Easier to fold the phone and then you do the same thing, force restart it, volume down, power, press and hold both buttons. Gotta wait typically about like 30 seconds or so until you, until you see the Samsung logo, then let go of both buttons, okay? Hopefully you're up and running now. If not, we're gonna go to the next possible step. So your screen is still black, no problem. So this next step here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the phone again and this time we're going to do is what I call the smack method. We're going to go ahead and hold our palm out like this and we're going to smack the front of the screen and also smack the back here. And the, the same premise behind the um, the tapping massage. You may have a ribbon cable that's slightly dislodged, slightly disconnected, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to put a cloth on here. I'm going to hold my hand out like this. I'm going to start off on the screen here, okay? I'm going to hold it just like this and I'm going to also on the bottom as well. Now, on the other side. And on the bottom or the top of the other side as well. Now, tap that power button and see if your screen is on. And also you wanna check the front as well. If, if it's still black, no problem from here again. Force restart it. Remember, volume down power. Press and hold both buttons at the same time. Keep on holding for about 30 seconds or until you see the Samsung logo appear. Once the Samsung logo appears, let go of both buttons. And hopefully you are up and running now. If not, we're gonna go to the next possible step. 
So the last step I have for you is what I call the freezer method. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to open your phone up like this. Make sure there's no case or nothing on this. I want you to go and put this in the freezer where it's nice and cold. Leave it in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, take out your nice cold phone and tap that power button and see if your screen is on. And of course, you want to check the front as well. Still a black screen, no problem. While it's nice and cold, do the same thing. Force restart it. Remember, volume down power. Press and hold both buttons together and wait till the Samsung logo appears. Now here's the thing. If you guys tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen, then what I would suggest is start back on step number one. Try all the steps again. Doesn't work a second time, try it three times. Try it at least up to seven times because a lot of times you know, it takes like, you know, three, four, five, a lot of times the seventh time is a charm. You guys tried all the steps at least seven times. I'm going to say at least 70% 70, 70 of you guys should now have a working screen. And if this worked for you, please comment and comment which uh, step or combination of steps works for you so others can see as well. Good luck, guys.